Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Aaron Mankowski. Let's look at your forecast for this Friday. It's a cold start to your day. Temperatures will be in the mid-teens. We'll be in the mid-30s this afternoon. Partly sunny skies today. Light winds. All in all, pretty pleasant start to the month of March. Clouds will increase tonight with a general light snow developing on Saturday. Okay, Aaron, thanks. I'm Katie Morris. Let's take you through the 716 in two minutes. This is all new this morning. The fallout is now deepening from a 7 Eyewitness News I-Team report into a health inspector who admitted he faked more than two dozen reports. Now Erie County's top health officials being asked to testify in the matter. Legislator John Brusso, who chairs the legislature's Health and Human Services Committee, made the formal request in a letter to Dr. Gail Burstein. He even mentioned our exclusive report, which first aired Monday, as the specific reason he's doing this. Brusso says he wants context and answers about Timothy Bean and the measures taken to investigate what he allegedly did. Bean was fired last month for falsifying 25 reports. It's still unknown how long he'd been falsifying health inspection reports. Just hours from now, Erie County's district attorney is going to talk about the passage of a bill in Albany that criminalizes revenge porn. New York State lawmakers voted to make it a misdemeanor to distribute explicit photos of a person without their permission. The bill that they passed also allows victims to sue the person responsible for distributing the pictures. Governor Cuomo says he plans to sign that bill. That's your 716 in two minutes. We're back before noon with another news update. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.